What is good, OD fam? We are back with some more Division 2 content. And in today's video, and in an effort to bring you guys more credible and realistic comparisons between the bills that I showcase in my videos, we are gonna get into my new method for leveling up your expertise. But as always, if you are enjoying the content and wanna stay up to date with all things Division, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and let's get it. So I've been showcasing a lot of bills these last couple of weeks and for the most part, they all seem to perform very well, even with the expertise gap. But as I continue to make new bills and look to the future, I always wonder how good they would actually be were I to fully maximize my expertise level and put everything on a fair playing field. So with that being said, shout out to my man T'Challa over at King T'Challa Gaming for sharing this method. It's actually an old method, but given the fact that I didn't even have the full details on how it actually worked, I'm sure some of you guys are also in the dark. The entire method revolves around creating a new character and completing the New York City DLC from level 30 to level 40 which means taking out Aaron Keener along with his entire role group. And I think what threw me off from trying this method was me thinking of it as an exploit, but doing it myself and seeing the benefits and realizing it's just another way to grind, it has pretty much replaced my original method of grinding countdown. So basically all you have to do is create a brand new character from the main screen and when it asks you how you want to start, you want to go ahead and select to skip to the expansion so you go straight to New York. This will drop you right into the action as you begin by working to gain access to the new base of operations Haven. And once you have that completed, it's all about doing the investigations into all the manhunt targets, which will eventually unlock their manhunt missions in order to take them down. Now, you will rank up as you complete the investigations, and this is very important because you can only unlock the final target, Aaron Keener, once you complete all the manhunt missions with their corresponding investigations while also reaching the max level of 40. This entire process can take between two and four hours, and I know that sounds long, but the rewards make it very beneficial the main reward is from the new SHD watch for this character, which will grant you a ton of SHD points depending on your main character's SHD level, which can then be shared by buying the account sharing blueprint from Anaya in the DC base of operations. Now, from here, you can go a few different ways. My initial thought was to put all of these new SHD points into printer filament and use that as the main resource for leveling up your items. But according to my guy Juice, it can be more beneficial to use the first set of SHD points to fill up as many resources as possible as they will double every time you complete this process. I've done this process twice now from level 16 and so far I'm gaining over one full expertise level per run which will vary between higher and lower base expertise and SHD levels. But for the most part, this seems to be the fastest way to level up your expertise. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm still pretty green in this process. So if any of you know of any more tips and tricks to make this better or more efficient, please leave it in the comment sections and for one more quick tip, if any of you guys are really low expertise and or SHD levels, or even if you're just starting out, I would still recommend countdown first until you reach between levels 12 and 14, as this process seems to be more beneficial in terms of leveling up the items that either don't drop very often or your exotics. But hopefully this helps you guys out and makes it easier for you to decrease the expertise gap and make your PVP encounters more even. Be on the lookout for my next build video 
which should be dropping sometime early this coming week. And as always, if you are enjoying the content and want to stay up to date with all things division, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to join the OD family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all be blessed and stay OD. Yo, dude, you believe in Nick too much. That's what I'm saying. You look stupid changing your kids like that.